Hello. I recently did a post talking about the law of duality, which is about diving into what it is that we are fighting instead of fighting it. So as an example, uh, if you are opposing evil instead of opposing it, go into your own darkness. And when you heal that, you produce light instead of pointing the finger and blaming. So that inspired me to in fact talk about more of the laws of nature or universal laws because these laws cannot be broken. This is like gravity. It cannot be broken. We may have flight. We may be able to float and fly and do those things, but that's working with gravity. Gravity is always there. So are the laws of nature. So I thought I'd take you through a handful of them. There's actually something like 19. And the first and most obvious one is the law of attraction, which is what the secret is all about. The law of attraction and vibration. So like brings like. So whatever you put out there, you receive. If you think you're not going to get anywhere, if you think you're always going to be sick, if you think, believe those things, then your life will in fact give you that. So that's the universal law of attraction and vibration. Another one is the law of polarity. Where there is cold, there must be heat. We know that from the uh, pockets of cold and hot systems of air around the world. There's always going to be hot and cold. There's always going to be good and evil. There's always going to be, you know, there's the polarity. It's like uh, both ends of a magnet. You're always going to have both ends. So that's the law of polarity. The law of rhythm, which is our seasons and the cycles that happen, they're always going to be there. They might change a little bit, but they're always going to be there. Another is the law of relativity. There's always going to be someone you can compare to. I thought, uh, and comparison can be the thief of joy, I love that phrase, but it also made me think about when you hear people say, oh, there's always somebody worse off, and I thought, How, who, who's the one at the bottom of that list, <laughs> you know, <laughs> who is actually the one who is the worst off, but it's, it depends on perspective, doesn't it? Like, I've gone through a lot of struggles, but I might look at someone else's struggle and go, oh my God because I've survived mine and they might think the same. They're going through their shit, but they can handle that and look at what someone else is going through and go, oh my God. And that's the, the law of uh, relativity. The law of cause and effect is that every action creates a reaction or a response, yeah? So everything we do is going to have a response and it's either equal to or opposite to whatever it is, that is the cause and effect effect is either equal to or opposite to the cause, right? The law of gender and gestation. We all have feminine and masculine energy. Doesn't mean female, male. We all have aspects of us that are feminine and masculine. And that's always going to be there. Everything, every living being has feminine and masculine sides to it. And the last one I want to talk about is the law of perpetual transmutation of energy. Energy is always with us and it moves into different forms and different shapes, but it's always there. And a classic example I like to use of this one is if you put out into the universe a negative thought about somebody, whether you think it or say it, this is <laughs> tough to get your head around, but no matter where they are in the planet, they will receive that. Makes you think, doesn't it? Really careful about what you say and do. But I've actually created a bit of a workbook, it's like a handout with uh, questions to help you understand that better. So if you'd like to know about those seven laws, comment below and I will email that to you. Because as I mentioned in the start, these laws cannot be broken. We need to know them. It's really important. It's how we get through life. If you don't know these laws, you're going to struggle really. So let me know if you want a copy and I'll get that to you and I'll see you next week. Bye.